Hey guys, Rui Serbian here. Uh, sorry that it's just been uh, uploads of Twitch streams recently. It's mostly because I've been feeling kind of under the weather, uh, mainly due to the weather. Uh, <laughs> um, I at least managed to get the Ogneer Hot Sauce Challenge, which I am going to do again with some modified rules to it. Uh, maybe with uh, different items. Uh, I'm a bit uh, out of it now because I just came back uh, from doing a Pokemon walk. It's been the first time I've really been able to do one since uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, mainly because uh, weather's been bad. Uh, but today was in the low 60s. It was not, it was, it, there was a bit of sun. And it was walking in the evening. So a uh, good amount there. Uh, also caught a Mantine. So that... That's good. And uh, I'm going to say, too, uh, if you live in the Reading area, uh, Reading, PA, uh, it is the Reading Museum is currently an Omnite farm. So if you want to get your Omnistar, go there at the moment. Uh, anyways, uh, today I'm going to be reviewing the uh, other Nightmare FNAF figures. Uh, I've already shown off Bonnie. Uh, so first off... And I am... up oh, there it is. Oh, I really wish there was a way to attach this. Uh, first off, I am showing off Nightmare Freddy. Uh, yeah, his eyes actually work really well on my camera, surprisingly. Uh, so you can see he's very worn down. He's got the nightmare teeth. The uh, orange glowing eyes. Like Bonnie, he's missing some parts on the feet, though not as much as Bonnie. Of course, we had the long Nightmare Nails. Uh, Nightmare Freddy, uh, along with coming with a uh, Build-A-Figure part, also comes with a Freddle. Only one, unfortunately. Uh, I do wish there was a way to attach Freddle to uh, Nightmare Freddy, mainly because that is his jump scare in the game, with the three Freddles attached, which is also why I wish there was more of them. Uh, overall, it's a nice reputation, representation of Nightmare Freddy. It is pretty poseable. I'm not going to show off all the posability on this because uh, I'm a McFarlane figure. I am likely to snap something by accident. Uh, it does have full wa waist rotation, though. So if that's something you're interested in, you can do that. Ugh, excuse me. Uh, I also just ate. <laughs> uh, we have Nightmare Chica. With uh, different color glowing eyes. One blue, one I think purple? I can't tell where I am, it's too dark. Uh, of course we have her Let's Eat bib. And the Nightmare Cupcake. Uh, this time the cupcake is molded into her hand. Um... Which is nice, it means you're not going to lose it like you might with the uh, normal Chica. But, uh... I still would prefer a peg. Of course, you get some nice uh, teeth in the beak there. She's, of course, all worn down. Again, fully rotating waist. Uh, which seems to be a standard for the Nightmare figures. Uh... But again, overall, I really like it, and the fact that they're animatronics means that the ball joints really work well for them, uh, which I mentioned in my previous FNAF figure reviews. Next, we have Nightmare Foxy, who I'm sure is a lot of people's favorites. Unfortunately, he does not come with his plush version. You can see uh, his bare endoskeleton legs there. See how worn down he is. Got the hook. Again, full rotation. I think Foxy may be the uh, best of the Nightmare figures. I just think that uh, him being a worn down character already just works well.
Then we have Funtime Foxy, who is interesting in that, uh, yes, appears to be a combination of FNAF World Funtime Foxy and Sister Location Funtime Foxy, unless there's something in Sister Location I'm not aware of, because I still cannot get past those freaking bitty babs. I'd love to get past them, but I can't do it yet. I think it's because I need a better computer. I, I think it's going too slow with the computer I have. It's not registering. So you get the uh, sharp teeth because it is a foxy. Uh, and we have the sharp teeth no matter what. Um, it is not a remold of any of the characters. These are all new pieces I have checked. Uh... You can see it has the, for lack of a better term, panties, and the hook uh, that the uh, FNAF World version has, but it has the eyebrows from the uh, sister location version. Of course, we have the uh, tail on the back here, the pink nails, uh, which uh, are strangely uncolored on, on the hand. They're molded there, but they're not colored in. It's it's kind of odd. Uh, does have the lipstick. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, that does show up. Okay. And the bow tie. Uh, as a Mangle fan, I, I'm happy to have this. I still want to see a buildable Mangle figure. Maybe if they do the toy animatronics. And there's one more piece, uh, which I will be back in a second. Sorry about that, I need to grab the last uh, part here. Um, it the, is the buildable figure, which is Knight Marionne, and that's how I'm going to pronounce the name, because that's how it's spelled in-game. We all know it's supposed to be Knight Marionette, but uh, that's not how it's written. Uh, and uh, unfortunately for a buildable figure, it's kind of a weak link. It has to be a buildable figure due to its uh, height. Uh, for example, here's Freddy next to it. <laughs> But, uh, it, it's kind of a weak link. The uh, pieces don't really attach too well together. The uh, limbs keep falling off on me. Uh, they are on movable ball joints, so you can move them. Uh, but I think that kind of hurts the figure a bit. It might have been better just to be a static figure rather than uh, trying to make it poseable. I mean, don't get me wrong. It looks good. It looks like Nightmare on a... Uh, you have the creepy clown stuff to it. You've got the long spindly legs. You've got the Beetlejuice arms. Uh, it's very much that character. And let's get a close-up of that face there. Because that is really creepy. <laughs> uh, it's not a bad figure. And I understand why it's the buildable figure. But... <sighs> I'd honestly rather there be no moving parts to it and just be a snap together. I think it would have worked better. But it does what it's supposed to. So, overall, I really like these. I definitely think that uh, the Foxies are the best of the wave. It's nice to have any kind of representation of Mangle in there. So, uh, yeah, I really like these. Um, I do recommend them. Uh, as far as I'm aware, they're only available at GameStop. I believe FNAF stuff is now pretty much exclusive to GameStop, uh, unless it's a clothing item. Because I have not seen these anywhere else. Uh, the first wave I first saw on Hot Topic and uh, FYE. Uh, but this wave I have only ever seen in uh, GameStop. Same with the uh, buildable figure sets. The new wave builder figure sets that is. Uh, which I will finish my reviews of them. I just need to fix my uh, Nightmare Mangle. Because uh, the neck is a bit of a weak point on that one. <laughs> um, again, recommend these. If you uh, see them in your area, I do recommend getting them. Uh, the billable figure is a bit of a weak link. Uh, but it does do exactly what it's supposed to do. Which is look like Nightmare on it. Uh... So uh, thank you guys for watching. I will have a new game video up tomorrow. 
and uh, I'll see you then. Bye, guys.